Hello everybody. First of all, I want to try and explain why our new Samsung EcoBubble 8kg washing machine has turned out to be less than accessible for my wife Sue. Sue is totally blind. So we selected this machine because it has a physical selector control, a large knob here, which clicks around to select the different wash programs. The traditional way for a blind person to be able to use such a thing is to put small rubber bumps on the um, control knob and at various points around the control for the different programs they want to use. So in this case, I'll put a small bump on, as they're called in the UK, on there. And maybe Sue wants to use cotton and synthetics. OK, so now, in theory, Sue can put her finger on the bump and feel the second bump, and then she can move around to synthetics like this. Easy peasy. Now, we did this to start with, and we marked up the control in a comprehensive way. But unfortunately, after a few days, it turned out that Sue was using the wrong programs. And we scratched our heads a bit to try and work out what was going on. So I'm going to take the bump arms off and I will demonstrate the problem. Okay, so let's turn the machine on. Nice little light show, all the light LEDs around the knob, you know, uh, lighting up in a little show there. And as you heard, a nice little tune. As you can see, it's selected to cotton at the moment. There's an LED lit up here for cotton. And as you turn the knob around, the re relevant LED lights up. Okay, we didn't think that mattered because Sue can't see the LEDs, but with the bump on solution, she should have been able to select the right programs. Now, if you have observed, I have just moved the control from cotton round to synthetics. No problem there. I turn the machine off and then turn it back on again. And look, it's actually gone back to cotton. And in fact, after some experiments, we realized that the machine remembers the last program that you ran. So, okay, maybe Sue has to try and remember what program she ran last and then have a, a table or a recording letting her know how many clicks ran to the next program. But that doesn't work. If I turn the machine off, spin the knob round so if there'd been a bump on it it's gone round to some random point turn it back on again back at cotton and what's worse this knob doesn't have marks all the way around so you turn it by an equal number of ang um, degrees no problem no problem no problem i just moved it the same number of degrees but the led has gone through about twice the distance because there's no marking down here and then it carries on. You'll also observe there is no stop to this knob, so you can go around as many times as you like. So effectively, any bump on system is gonna get pretty scrambled pretty quickly. Another problem, which will um, rear its ugly head later on in this instructable, is the fact the knob is actually made of a transparent material. So light can get through it, and that will be very important later on. So Sue says, what can we do? And she says, why not get it to talk? And I thought, well, that's a bit pie in the sky. But then started thinking about this. And that's how this Instructable was born. 